Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wines, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu, your host. I'm back with another banger for y'all today. Today, we're going to talk about how to use negotiation skills to make a good impression. If you're new to the channel, please click the like button. Please leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also share this video with somebody if you think it'll help them. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, fam. Good to see you, like always. You know what I mean? So, without further ado, negotiation skills. Using I is going to mess you up because now you are already putting possession on your take of anything that you're saying. Don't do it. If you're going into anything, Use every statement like a question. How, why, don't even say you. I and you, get rid of them. Those are possessive words. So go into everything saying how, asking questions. How so, why is that? And also when you're speaking, label emotions. So if someone is expressing something to you, like somebody come to you and they're like, oh man, life's so hard. Uh, I just, I, I don't know, I can't cope, I can't stay afloat. You will label that emotion. It seems like you are frustrated. If someone agrees, you, you, you're you giving them power by labeling it, and then you can start to label certain emotions. And sometimes when people are very uh, lost in their feelings, it's hard for them to not agree. Because when you sound like you're paying attention and listen to them, then you're starting to gain power over that situation. But they don't know it. So when you're using techniques like this, you wanna use them in a way where it benefits the person. Even though you might be using somewhat of a manipulation technique, still it can benefit that person because you wanna make a good impression. So let's say for example, someone comes to you, hey, how are you? I'm such and such for this company, right? If they come into you, first off, never talk about yourself. You know, unless they ask, so what do you do? Or uh, what's your business? Then you'll explain to them and even then, you don't want to say too much. You want if you're you, when you explain anything to someone who asking you about what you do or, who, or what your business is, keep it short and sweet. And nine times out of ten, if it, depending on the circumstance, you want to listen to what people are saying because when they're talking, people are talking because they want you to listen. People aren't, for the most part. There's people who are wise with their communication and also do these same techniques. I'm telling you, where they're listening and they're, they. Well, in instead of replying, what they would do is summarize what the person has said to them. So, you know, someone's talking to you, blah, 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 blah. You'll be like, it seems like you feel like really happy about this. You said that blah, 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 blah. Um, you got that new promotion at work. Like they'll, they'll say the sentence like, okay, so let's say uh, the guy was talking about he's getting a promotion at work and he's really happy about it. This is how you res would respond instead of just saying, hey, that's a... Uh, Man, I'm so happy for you, bro. This is great. What you would do is you'll build the power. You will lift them up in what you're saying. So it seems like you're really happy about this. You got that new promotion. Everything is looking up for you. Man, I wonder what you got next. What's, what's next? You, you want people to kind of keep talking so that you can fill out what they're saying. And then listen in, listen real carefully to what they're saying. And that's where you start to figure out the next thing that you're gonna say and how you wanna direct the conversation. Because a lot of the time, people are talking. They're just telling you things to make themselves feel good. So if you're making them feel even better by almost taking the information and just re like recycling it back into them instead of just responding to... Because a lot of people like listen to respond. They don't listen to cycle the information back to that person, summarize it. And that person will be like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because that's when you start to begin to be able to make a good impression on someone by recycling the information. You can instead of just uh, bombing people like how they say you can love bomb somebody, bombing people with good compliments and stuff like that. Instead of doing that, you can take the information and then give that back to them instead of lo love bombing, compliment bombing people. Because when you do that, then people will know you're just trying to manipulate them. So if you say something back to a person and give that to them, more than likely, they're gonna just agree because they're hearing, it's like you're a mirror. They're hearing themselves, you're mirroring them. So take that information in, recycle it back out, use questions instead of eyeing you, and also building up a, a reputation by being someone who listens, because that's the number one thing. If anyone's talking to you, be a good listener. 
that's how you can solve a lot of people's problems. Because remember, if you're in business and you're negotiating with someone about a contract or about pricing or anything like that, by listening to what they're able to do, you'll, you'll be able to create a price point that one, still keeps you in making profit, but also can keep the client happy or keep your person happy. And this doesn't have to be about products and consumers. This can be about just someone in your everyday life that you want to boost up and, and saying certain things might not be able to help them. So, or reacting to what they're saying might not be able to help them. So using techniques like this will be able to guide them in a good direction by reiterating what they've given to you back to them. So that hearing it for them, when, when they hear someone else saying it, it's like a doggy treat. Like you just gave the dog a treat, you told the dog to sit, and the dog's like, I sat. And then you give them the doggy treat, it it like doubles, it doubles the happiness because now they're happy from telling you this and they're happy from hearing the exact same thing that you told them back to them. So these are just some dope techniques that you can use to help make a good impression. In any setting, you can use this over phone, email, and text. So try practicing these. You know, watch this video back, try practicing some of this stuff. Watch the video back and see how it really can help you. That's pretty much it for today's video, y'all. If this helps you out, please leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better still. Like this video, please, please. And also subscribe and share this video with somebody who you think it will help. It's Laura Shoe. Holla!